Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And that is Porter. Uh, it's Sally, 421. Over here by the uh, Shelbourne yeah, Center, uh, Malcolm X Park area. Uh, they started working back in the field. So we'll see how this work progresses. So right now, they started like a couple of, no, I, I want to say maybe a few days ago. But, um, so, um, I'm not too sure of the scope of work that they're doing, but, um, I try to keep you guys informed as much as I can. Right now, they're just excavating. I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing entirely. I imagine they're going to be putting new lights up, artificial turf, um, a new baseball diamond, um, another cage over there. And a few other things, but I just want to show you what they got going on. What's happening? Finally, finally got back to work, huh? Finally. After what, like, almost a couple of months now? Like two and a half months. Two and a half months, yeah, it's crazy. You got it right this time? Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Not right now. Let's see, let's see if they got it right this time. Now the problem is there's too many people have their hands in the pot. You know, usually that happens. It gets messy. Especially when they have their hand in the pot for the wrong reasons too. We got a lot of that going on in uh, city government and state government. We gotta try to get rid of that kind of politics so I'm not gonna walk inside there even though I can well I guess I could walk up to here anyway so this is what they're doing they're taking up the whole uh, pretty much the whole entire baseball field uh, the bleachers are all gone light poles are all gone they're gonna be uh, doing it over I assume those are the new poles over there. I could be wrong. The ones that are like right, right there. And these ones over here as well. Those are the new um, poles that's going to go up. They kind of, kind of keep an eye on things. See if I can show you the other side a little bit too before I hit a body here. Because the other side, they haven't really, well, they started a little bit on the other side, so I can't say they haven't. They have. But it is what it is, you know. Show sure what they got going on. We we'll call it work in progress. We we'll call it work in progress. Alright, so they'd be. Tackling this throughout the uh, summer, it's going to take several, uh, several months, maybe more. It depends on supply and demand and everything else. The only thing I see wrong is that they shouldn't put that fire hydrant inside the gate, but um, that's not a major thing because you could, you you can get you. You can have access to it if you need it to, but typically you don't fence in a uh, fire hydrant. That's just so you guys know, you don't do that. But other than that, um, you know, we'll see how things work out. Uh, oh, he's moving the bleaches, get those out of the way. Guess they're gonna put new bleaches in there. We'll see how the new ones look. It's a lot of scrap metal, aluminum. Yep, apartment number two. Just get, just get the backhoe and yank it out of there, man. <laughs> it, 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 oh, they want it? They want to save it? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, don't do that then. <laughs> Take care, buddy.
I guess they're gonna re re reuse the bleaches over somewhere else. All right, just want to show you a little construction getting started. Um, they did cut down a couple of trees over there. I guess the trees with those orange tags on it allegedly are going to be cut down. I don't know if they changed the number or not, but the number was 120 trees. Now it's down to like, I think 29 trees. So um, the number has dropped a good amount. They were hoping that nobody cut any trees, but I guess in order for them to make room for the new park or the new area of the park, um, it involved cutting down some of these trees with the orange tags on them. Um, like I said, I don't know the, the whole, all the details behind it. All right, I might give you a little view of the other side over there. And um, just want to show them starting work back over here. Uh, I, I, I always called it Washington Park, but you know, they newly named it in the last, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 years, Malcolm X Park. But everybody that uh, pretty much grew up in Roxbury knows it as uh, Washington Park. Uh, they, just by changing the name does not change you know uh, people get caught up with a lot of name change and I don't know what's the purpose of that but uh, they, t they do a lot of name changing for some reason I don't know why but they do yeah. change it from Nubian Dudley Square to Nubian Square it's still the same square nothing changes alright guys might catch you guys on the other side over there. Hey, how's it going? So this is the uh, the other side of it. They um they haven't st started. Oh, she probably want to ask me what am I doing? <laughs> Hold on one second. So this is they haven't started this side yet but they're making their way over here. Um, probably by next week, they're probably working on this side. So they did, they have dropped, it, dropped some more supplies off. I don't know if you guys can see it. Those supplies over there. Uh, right there. Those kind of, those are kind of freshly dropped off. So they do, they do plan on starting work up here. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm trying to get myself focused there. They do plan on getting started up here, but we'll say work in progress. We'll just keep an eye on things and see how it is. Um, yeah, maybe in the next couple of weeks, three or four weeks, I'll come back and do another video just to see how well they uh, are coming along. Let me take a quick walk down here so you can see the other. It's gonna look it's gonna look like this when it's done, supposedly. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. I guess the field is gonna be looking like that. If you want that to be the field. Take a quick walk down to the uh, basketball court. They haven't, like I said, they haven't started anything yet, but so you can just see how it looks now. And we'll come back in about, we'll give them about, we'll give them about four or five weeks to see how well they're doing. So if, it looks like for the, for the summer, they probably won't be able to use this area. I don't see this getting fixed like during the summer. I see it maybe getting fixed later, late fall, maybe early winter, maybe. But we'll see. Like it's kind of hard to say. So that's what we have here. People are able to use the basketball court over here. Well, they were able to use it. I think the 
Backboards are taking off of those now. Let's see if the backboards are still up there. Or they take them down. No, they took the backboards down. Oh, why would they do that? But like I said, they do that for malicious reasons. They could have left the they could have left the backboards up there so people can play basketball. You guys can see it. The backboards are all taken down. Before they were backboards up there. So that that means they re they recently took those backboards down. Then. Yeah, that's recently. Uh. Yeah, there is no backboards at all. The other video I did before had backboards up there. So these backboards are completely taken down. You guys can see those backboards are missing. Get a closer look. So you can see what I'm talking about. Backboards are not there. Um, even, at, even at the last court that did have backboards, they're not there anymore. Matter of fact, that one, they got a pile of asphalt in there. I think they did that on purpose. They do that. They do that so people can't use it. I mean, I, that's only malicious, maliciously done. Cause see that gate? That wasn't like that before either. So they have a, a, a evil way of doing things. If you look, if you, if you can see what I'm seeing, like if you're working over there, if you're working way over there, why did you have to bother over here? Put a pile of dirt in the middle of the. Uh, basketball court take down the backboards that were up um, it doesn't make any sense it really don't um, wait, I got a question why, why do you take all the basketball backboards down man yeah like, that's kind of I find it disrespectful to do that because they could have left those up there while they're doing the work over there. Right. And then when they're done, then come over here and do some work. Because they had them up there before, so why did they take them down now? Yeah, that, that's kind of... that's. I, I, yeah, I find that kind of rude and disrespectful to do that. You wouldn't do that in Newton, Wellesley, and Brookline. I know for sure you wouldn't do it. But you come in here, you put tractor marks all through the court, dump piles of dirt, put asphalt over here. Take down the fence, take down the wall. And you're not even working over here. You mean, and that's our city officials too. We got some corrupt, corrupt, I talk about like Mayor Wu, Kim Janey, all of them. Marty Walsh, they're all the same. They're all from the same administration. They all do the same crooked things. And um, I just found a, a I, I got some information of how, how and why they do it too. The, the, the legal system is corrupt. The lawyers, well, it's no secret. The lawyer, most of the lawyers come out of Harvard, and Harvard has like a gag guard on the on the city of Boston, and they control and manipulate like a majority of the city, and that is true. And I've been hearing more and more things as I've been talking to people, and that's that's why uh, Mayor Wu don't come out in support of any uh, any union. She won't come out and support any uh, workers because she's part of it. She's, she's part of that whole criminal organization. And if you dig deeper into Mayor Wu's life with her husband and all that stuff, you see how the, the, uh, the money goes. They always say, follow the money. Mayor Wu has a lot of money invested in the city of Boston, but it's not for the city. It's not for the people. It's for her and her own benefit. We'll see what she does in the next year. Uh, we'll see what she's doing right now. And how... And Charlie Baker's no better. Look, look at the T. Like, it speaks for itself. Like, you, you can't make it up. You, you look at what's going on and you tell me, are they doing a great job out there? But, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna head up out of here. I wanna show you guys what's going on. All right, guys, I'm going to head up out of here. I just want to show you the uh, construction work has started back. 
I'm interested to know the price tag on the uh, the dollar amount. How much it's costing? Well, the taxpayers. It's not no one else but the taxpayers paying for it. How much is it costing the taxpayers for this? And how much overage is it from the original price tag? Uh, and I, I, I tried calling down City Hall and they don't want to give you any answers. Mayor Wu says she will make things transparent and she made this big speech at City Hall how she's going to show us the budget and where the money goes, how much is being spent. And I, I got that on my video. I recorded that whole speech she made. And that was all lip service and lies. I'm going to call the city of Boston, matter of fact, today. And I want to see if they're going to be that transparent as she said she was. Um, that's why you document stuff. So they can't say they didn't say it. I, I recorded that whole speech that she said. How she's going to... You know, she's going to be transparent with the budget. She's going to show you the spending, what's being spent on what and how much and all this stuff. Up. She did a whole hour speech, I believe it was. I think it was an hour speech. But we'll check it out. I'll review the tape and see, what, see what's really on there. Catch you guys on the next one.